or you had to take the pinion nuts, these holder nuts off of the stud on the gripper wagon, it's always good to retorque the wagon correctly when you when you're putting it back together. So there should be a stack of Belleville spring washers on the on the studs. Now you can tell they're a spring washer because they're slightly dish. You should be able to see there that this that the spring washer has a slight cup to it. You want the the open end of the cup like this to go against the prong here sticking out on the side of the wagon. Then you want the next one to cup away from it, and then the next one to cup away from that so that they're, they're set in a stack like this, like a spring. The last one, you should have an odd number of, of washers so that the last washer can shoulder up against the nut correctly. So when you're threading a when you're threading this on, thread the first nut all the way up against the strings go finger tight on both studs at the same time. So make sure you go finger tight on this one and then finger tight this one. Then you can put the jam nut on. And when the jam nut is on, you go quarter turn past finger tight. Turn that inside nut one quarter turn past finger tight. And then lock the jam nut. So you go one quarter turn past. That's about one quarter turn there. And then grab a second 24 millimeter wrench and lock the jam nut. Once you do that, the gripper wagon motor should be tensioned correctly. You should also make sure that the drive teeth on the pinion are engaged back in the drive rack back here. You need to be able to, you need to make sure that they're set in that rack so that you don't have drive pinion teeth sitting right on top of the rack. But if you've got those set, then you've, also, then you've been able to tension the, the wagon properly.